Hello, I am the host of Talking with Famous People, and my name is Host Eric, and I'm here with famous people in the room. Famous person Barry, famous person CJ, famous person Chamot, the ist Ken. Host Ken is, is in a hosting chair this evening. We're talking about his family. His family's got lots of problems. They're all living in one box in the gutter. And he wants me to solve their problems. And I was like, that's a tall order, dude. But uh, I did it. Now they're back in their house and they're fine. And it took me about 30 minutes. Amazing, huh? So, recently appointed host Ken. He, he is on top of it. He was very recently appointed. And his name already indicates that. Uh, and, paid person Sarah also in attendance. And we're going to... I wish, please, guys, as a general rule for viewers and for anyone who might participate and for people who do participate, I, in, unless you want your email address to show up on the video, please don't enter it when you enter go to me. Because, first of all, I don't look at, collect, or think about any of that stuff. Don't, I'm not interested in having your information or something. But more importantly, whenever I go over your name, it pops that email address up on the screen so I accidentally show email addresses by whenever I look at the chat and uh, so that's just a heads up anyway those are the people in attendance and that's a long introduction and we're going to talk about ISFJs and ESFJs plus this time another variable in the mix INFJ now I am an N in a family of S's and I felt very much in tune with my mother anyway. So S does not necessarily mean that you are not going to connect with the, an N. Remember, S's have N's in the stack somewhere. And depending on if it's complementary to where you have it, it could be a great match. Uh, and it could be a great relationship. And of course, probably what's not going to be a great relationship in general, although I don't think this is true for parent-child relationships. I think those are great, but your identi identical type is not going to make for a particularly great relationship most of the time because you're simply too much alike and there's not much to get from the other person that you don't already have, right? So uh, the difference being parent-child, I, I, I'm an HP father of an ENTP daughter and it was great it's great I mean it's kind of it was great she's kind of like basically an adult now I don't really see her all that often so so anyway uh, but for you guys you have an N kid in an INFJ that Ken's parents do and he's in type of of He's the type of person who has in his conscious stack two of the same functions, namely the TIFE. So the second and third slot for the INFJ goes FE and then TI, extroverted feeling and introverted thinking. So in their as their tool function, they're going to manage other people's perceptions of them. They're going to manage um, other people's perceptions of themselves as well. And, and they're going to attempt to do so uh, in the interest of good, they're uh, naturally inclined towards seeing other people happy and getting along. They're not pot stirrers by nature, although they're not afraid to, to they're not afraid to take take part in a fight at all. But by nature, they're not usually pot stirrers. I mean, a little bit, actually. <laughs> it depends how active they are. It depends how much they can motivate their SC to get them to serve some pots. Regardless, I wouldn't imagine you would have a lot of conflict with INFJ. So, as the as an ISFJ father would say, probably have less conflict with the INFJ than the ESFJ mother, I would guess. The ESFJ mother is probably the one who's going to cause, uh, there's going to be some friction with the INFJ perspective, and that would likely be because while Ken is no doubt quite cooperative with 
his mother's mm, photo shoots and uh, Christmas cards and and helping you hang something up and all that kind of shit that goes along with the ASFJ. Well, I don't doubt that the host Ken is very cooperative about that. I also don't doubt that the ESFJ mother is concerned because she just doesn't know why Ken's so uncooperative. Sometimes. It's just frustrating, that's all. <laughs> she, she apparently told my dad the exact same thing you're talking about very recently mm -hmm. when it came to a, keeping appointments and stuff. No, she was no. like, I don't know why he won't keep up. I put in all this work to try to make sure he keeps these appointments and he won't keep them. You know, I want to tell you, in no uncertain terms, ESFJ, you are the lucky one, right? You have a very nice and pleasant and socially graceful and no doubt quite cooperative kid, but because you're an ESFJ, you don't compare reality against potentiality. You compare reality against how reality could be better according to your perfect world vision. And that is not a fair way to hold other people to account, right? That's not a standard you can hold people to. So you've got to compare Ken, not against your standard, the ideal Ken, but instead against the average child of your average friend. And then when you feel like maybe he's he needs to be more meh, then you go like, okay, uh, ESFJ self, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to host Eric this time. But you probably don't have too many conflicts with him, I would guess, because he, he, INFJs are really easy to get along with. The other area where you might have conflict with him would be in the T area, where he might become frustrated with your style of argumentation and attempt to prove, and attempt to show that it's not logical. Um, and that won't really help any because you you feel the need when when challenged and ESFJ when challenged on logic concludes that that they need to generate more logic so that their conclusion will somehow have enough logic on it but <laughs> that, that's that's not how logic works, and that stuff that you're putting on isn't really logic. So, I would say um, that what you ought to do is is basically just remember that we each of us, each type, is handicapped in certain ways. I'm handicapped dramatically in your tool function. You know how you like to keep track shit and take pictures and have order and and be an archivist. I, I, I so am envious. I want to be a better archivist. I love that. I, I want that. Well, that's my handicap. I can't do that. I'm, I'm way worse than Ken. Way worse than Ken. You, you don't want me for a son, I'll tell you that. I'm a bad, bad son. I feel very guilty about it all the time. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is... Uh, you're probably fine. I wouldn't imagine you'd have any conflict with Ken. Either of those parents would, really. Maybe a little bit. Tell us, what's your conflict, Ken? Explain it now that I've given all my random hypothesizing about shit I don't know nothing about. You give me some information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think of examples. Um, I mean, pretty much the one that comes to mind is the one I already mentioned with the like keeping up appointments, which my dad actually, uh, he said he sort of took the other side uh, of the argument he told my mom he was like well then just let him not go to his appointments until he realizes that he really ought to which my mom took uh, not necessarily offense but uh, she just didn't quite agree with um, well, maybe you don't she, need she to go I'd, maybe you don't need those appointments at all yeah it was like doctor stuff dental appointments different things um but, uh, what's that? Is Ken going to show this to the family? I'll show it to my dad. The other ones can watch it if they want. But, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh I, something I do think is interesting, though, is my dad says that, uh, 
I guess we're still on the topic of if they have issues with me. Um, it's it's like mainly mainly seems to be SI related stuff. Like my mom wants me to bring dishes and like cups and stuff down out of my room. Uh, <laughs> wants me to like clean up my room. Yeah. Uh, wow. Every now and okay. again, every now and again, my dad will be like, he'll he'll see a stack of laundry that I still have sitting on my bed. He's like, hey, uh, put those away, fold them and put them away. That's okay. Like, One thing that can yeah. there, you can ignore them on the other things, but yes, you have to take your fucking cups downstairs, dude. You cannot leave your cups in your room. That's not cool. Because then, I mean, <laughs> then where have all the cups gone? And then you go get them. And they got fucking mold in them. I am. I'm, I'm pretty good about the mold stuff. That's kind of... Well, I'm talking uh, to Delilah. That's, that's my talk to Delilah. Uh, you have to bring the fucking cups in from your room. I, I, I never complain about definitely. anything else. I do not complain about anything. I don't care if she's messy or whatever. But when she leaves the cups in there, then we, and where have all the glasses gone? And then I go in there, and what is it? Fucking mold. Moldy cup. It's uh, it's kind of funny because my sister, I think, she's an ESFJ, but my uh, my dad seems to get along with her pretty well. Uh, my sister and my mom have, uh, you know, fought about different stuff. Um, but uh, in some ways, my sister's just as bad as I am with uh, that kind of stuff. Even though I think she has a uh, better ability. To uh, maybe not a better ability, um, more unction to sort of organize things and uh, sort of tidy up. More unction, do. huh? I don't. You know. Do, I don't do you know. think? Just, do you think often of her unctiousness? <laughs> you know what? It's. I'm just now considering it. <laughs> it just. It's, what does that mean? Unction? Does it mean gumption, or does it mean like get up and go? Galas? Or what? I, 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 I'm not really sure. I guess when I said unction, I was thinking of like that thing that's like a jump start. Like, you know, in some people, when it comes to cleaning, it's like they get like the unction to, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to clean. And then they go clean. Whereas that's devoid in me. I'm like, <laughs> anytime I clean, it's like, I better clean because I I have two SFJs telling me I need to clean. And if no. they weren't here, it probably would not happen. No, no, Ken, this is going to be kind of a hard question for you to answer me. I know it's deeply personal, but do you think maybe you're having unction-related problems with your parents? You know, I've heard that I, one in five INFJs have uh, unction-related issues. Mm -hmm. Well, we they, they don't have a medication for it yet, but what uh, I suggest is a back support brace <laughs> because otherwise you never know. Sometimes it's just uh, just don't have the unction to get out of bed in the morning. Right, that's what the brace is for. Yep, it'll make it uncomfortable if you from, stay sleeping. Keep me from flopping over and going jellyfish on the floor. No, it's to make it uncomfortable, so you have to get out of bed. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, so those words of wisdom, everyone. I I give that prescription to every person in the world. You need to you need to get a back brace. <laughs> It's my doc my doctor's advice to you, okay? So I've I've, done, I've looked at you, I've done some uh done some preliminary investigation and you need a back brace. But I've got this spike through my arm. <laughs> Look, trust me. Put on the back brace, go home, sleep on it, let's call me, call somebody else tomorrow. It doesn't work. <laughs> but Barry says blackmail the family instead. I don't think you understand. They're SFJs. If anything, I'm the one that can be blackmailed. <laughs> uh, do you do you feel the N-E and I difference in uh, between you and your family members? Or how does that how does that feel to you? Maybe that probably explains why you seem a little more juicy in the N-E than some INFJs. Might be. Um, I think it's also uh, not just with any, but um, in conversation as well. Uh, I f I'll find myself engaging in sort of uh, just sort of on the surface, sort of not necessarily shallow, but just sort of find myself talking about things like so and so went 
to this store and they did this there and then I'll kind of catch myself like I don't necessarily want to be talking about this but it's just something uh, I've learned to engage in with people around the house because that's what they're interested in well, I mean, but, you've, um, you've noted that on an FE level it's provided you the the outcomes you've you've wanted from it so it's uh, it's got a proven track yeah. record talking about banal shit with them <laughs> let but, me uh, think of something really bana banal to talk to them about hmm <laughs> Sail on Turkey this week. Have you heard? <laughs> yeah. That's uh Yep, that's pretty much how it is. Sail <laughs> sail on Turkey. Uh Turkey's on sale. There's a there's a pizza coupon here. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we got a pizza coupon from Papa John's. Well it's true, but uh Domino or not Domino's, but uh Donato's, they have a they have a pizza coupon, right? But you can you might get more pizza from Papa John's, true, but but <laughs> We like Donato's better, and then it's you know, it's ten minutes later, and you're still I, talking about pizza. I'm I feel grateful for my ESTJ father, because <laughs> it, there was none of that kind of talk, right? Yeah. It, there was there was instead a whole lot of now son. Yeah. I heard now now son, it was just like oh, what now? <laughs> now yeah. son, when you have a car, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> oh God! Here we go. I, I, Here we I go with the TE the shit. Son stuff. The the thing that makes me feel like dying inside slightly is when my dad's like, "So I made up a new list of things we have to do," and I'm like, ah. <laughs> "I'm like not the list, please God." <laughs> but uh, you, you you're asking about uh, any? Um, oh yeah. Well, we're, we're displaying it right now. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of an example of how they would help me develop that. Uh, osmosis. Yeah. <laughs> osmosis. Well, I mean, I think I think the way that it, you would develop any potentially in that context would be to have them cause you to go, oh, I see how the truth I could, was clear to me through my NI actually was vulnerable to these other possibilities I didn't see. But neither of them is particularly strong in any, so that probably wouldn't happen. Because I think the stronger in is going to win the truth battle most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Which is unfortunate, because I've probably been the one that spent the most time doubting myself. <laughs> like, uh, when it comes to people, I'll, mm. uh, uh, I'll uh, be in a room you know, talking to people, and if uh, other family members are there, like my mom and my dad, afterwards, they might have theories about certain people's motives for certain things, and I'm just sitting there squinting, like, I don't see how a reasonable individual comes to that conclusion, but, okay. Like, I guess, for me, I just didn't right. pick up on whatever they're, uh, whatever they're trying to extrapolate or whatnot. Well, that's what Barry says. Their possibilities will not be convincing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's stop there. This feels like a good stopping spot. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to the people. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese.